What's up guys and welcome back to another EVE Online video. Uh, t the Caldara Union Day event is upon us and so today I am, uh, we're going to be going through the Union Day combat challenge in high sec. Um, so the way this event, the combat sites work is you can have a T1 or T2 frigate or a faction frigate or a T1 destroyer um, in the combat sites. Uh, they are quite nice and easy and quite quick to do, um, but you do have to uh, be aware of the incoming damage and stuff while you're doing it. Um, I'm running it at the moment in a cheap Cormorant. Um, I actually had this uh, ship from an event last year and just wanted to uh, fit it up again nice and cheap and use it. Um, I've seen uh, there's a lot of people running it in Kikimoras and uh, a few um, Retributions. So Retributions, Kikimoras and Hawks tend to be the most popular, but um, this fit works well for me. So just a really quick run through the fit. This is Tech 1 guns, by the way, my skills in um, hybrid turrets aren't very good. Um, so this is a Tech 1 fit, um, but basically um, what I've gone with is Tech 1 um, artillery? Are they artillery? Um, they are, right? Oh, rail guns. Take one rail guns. Um, I've gone for the 125mm um, prototype Gauss gun, which is the metaphor. Um, and then with antimatter charges. Um, this gives you reasonable DPS in a cormorant, so you know, you're looking at 178 DPS, which is pretty good. Um, but also uh, the good optimal range because um, some of the rats hold a distance of 16 ish kilometers away from you in the first wave so if you've got if you can't achieve that range then you can't hit them so and the first time I tried to run it I ran it with blasters and obviously I couldn't hit anything so I had to swap to rail guns uh, but the DPS is absolutely fine to get through this um, if you're struggling to get through the sites uh, then obviously you can like tech 2 these or whatever if you've got the skills increase your DPS with tech 2 and you'll be good to go um, in the mids, I've just got a multi-spec shield hardener, um, a shield extender too, and um, I've gone for EM shield amp for the uh, EM hole. Let me go simulate for the EM hole um, in Kaldari ships. The damage you face is largely... Um, you have to tank against everything. Um, I'll explain why uh, in a second when we talk through the site. And then in the lows, damage control for the bit of extra tank. And the magnetic field stabilizer too for a bit of extra DPS. In the rigs, oh, these are Tech 2 rigs. Okay. Um, uh, thermal shield reinforcer again for some Omni tank. Um, defense field, uh, core defense field extender to increase the amount of shield. And then a hybrid locus coordinator too for use of the. Um, designed to increase the optimal range of the ship's hybrid turrets. So that's the fit, um, pretty simple. Um, so that's, um, we'll go ahead and again jump into a site in a second. Um, just really quickly to talk you through the site and what we see because it does happen relatively quickly. Whole thing in this ship takes less than 10 minutes um, and but I do need to act relatively quickly as I go through so I'll talk through the general site now and then um, uh, then I don't have to like stutter bits as we go through the site. But basically the way it works is you've got four rooms um, you, and basically you take on each of the Caldari's main enemy, the Caldari Union's main, uh, Caldari State's main enemies um, as you go through it. So first room is rogue drones and they are easy to blap but there's a lot of them. Uh, second room is um, uh, Garistas. Uh, so, also fine that room. I've not had any problems in this in the second room at all. Uh, you just work your way through the garistas and move on. Third room is Triglavian, um, and so in the third room, and I'll say this again when we get there, I lock up the Kiki Moras first and take them and kill them because they have really high DPS, especially if you leave them on grid, and then you can just take everything else out. Um, and in the final room, it's uh, Galente Federation Navy. Um, and again, I take out the Catalyst first because um, of the DPS, clear everything else down, and then there's a boss cruiser that spawns. 
and you kill that as well. Um, so the first two rooms I don't have a particular t uh, order of doing anything, um, but what I will mention is that the, my, the shield in this fit is a little bit on the hairy side. Um, so you can either increase the DPS to get through it faster, or you could change the tank if this doesn't work for you. Uh, you could look at doing other different targeted tank or swap that. Probably worth swapping this to be honest. Um, the optimal range increased by 20% uh, to get up to 17. You could not put that in and go for additional tank if you are struggling. But without further ado, we'll get straight into the site. I'll go and see if I can find one first. There is a lot of competition for it at the moment, as you'd expect. See you in there in a second. Okay, so we're just warping to a site that isn't being run by anyone, <coughs> so we should be able to get started. So when you land, you land on the acceleration gate with Kaldari symbol. <coughs> I'm going to turn on my tank and warp in and take the gate. I'm using um, Kaldari Navy antimatter charges um, because with even with the these are the highest DPS ammo and uh, still got plenty of range. The iron charge is uh, not needed. So go cut down any antimatter. Right when you land, uh, I don't you don't need to log any, lock anything particular in this room. Just start locking it all and go for it. These are rogue drones, and you see how quickly you blap them. I'm just going to start slow boat to the gate because I've got no prop mod, so I just want to slow boat there while I'm killing everything. Um, you are in every room. You are subject to quite a lot of e war, so bear that in mind. Like we are being muted, target painted, and webbed for the moment. So if you are struggling for cap, then obviously take out the neuters first. Um, but in this first room, I don't need, I don't have the need. Um, and you can just delete them all nice and fast, which is the nice thing about this. Um, so this room, I don't think would be improved much with increased DPS. You might be able to pick them off with one shot, but probably not. Um, it's the later rooms where increased DPS would make a difference. So we'll just keep deleting these. And carry on. 
Um, one thing to bear in mind with your shield is obviously you don't have very quick regen, and there's no active regen. So if um, if your shield gets a bit low, uh, you can just wait by the gate for it to regen a little bit. I would recommend going through each gate with at least 50% shield for this fit. Um, or somewhere between 50 and 60 would be the ideal. Um, so we're going to be... Uh, a hawk is going to come in and try and compete with us for this site. Okay, so now we're into the Garista's room. So again, don't need to do anything in particular, so just lock them all up. Start firing. And start slow boating to the next gate. The, the Garistas also go down nice and easily, but there's much less of them as well, so the incoming DPS isn't really a problem. But again, if you are struggling with the DPS, take out the cruisers first, because they're the ones that do a lot. Or, in this room, take out the imputers, because they are warp scramming you. So, obviously you can't leave if you haven't killed the imputers, these guys. Um, so, kill them first if you think you're going to struggle. So in this case, you see the shield is dropping a little bit, so we've got a long way to slow boat to the gate, so we'll regen plenty by the time we get there. So that's nice, the hawk checked, descanned, saw we were doing this and hasn't has decided not to compete. That's one of the nice things about this fit, um, and running the cormorant, I would imagine it loses in a DPS check with the Kikimora, but I have had a couple of Hawks try and um, DPS check me basically and uh, on the final boss um, whoever does the most damage is who gets the loot and so far I have beaten every Hawk I've come up against. I don't run sites that other people are doing but, often, but a lot of the time people will join you in your site and try and nick the, nick the boss. So, keep, so far this beats Hawks, in my experience. I might, it might beat uh, Retributions, um, and I, I doubt it beats Kikimoras. So, see, we've still got 10k to go, so by the time we get there, we should have enough shield to move into the next room. But the next room is the Triglavians, so we do need some shield here, because if there are, like, more than two Kikimoras, we will take some serious damage um, but yes with the Triglavians they uh, the names are all pretty obvious as to what they do to you so Kikimoras you want to take out for DPS if you see anything with anchoring in the name they will um, warp scramble you so you want to take them out pretty early as well um, there are starving which will mute you um, and then liminal which is just uh, damage so you can leave the liminal to the last if you can tank the damage. Do we have any Kikimoras? We've just got one. There's not very many in this room actually as a, as a whole. So start taking out the Kikimora. And then I'm going to go st starving, starving, tank with liminal. Like that. And then again, just find the gate. Start drifting towards it. Once we've taken, so you can see it takes a while to take the Kikis out as well, which is why you want to take them out fast. Because if they get to spool up their damage on you, it does a lot. And then after this it's just a couple of Nurgles. They, Nurgles might be able to out DPS me. Because they are... Um, tech 2 Triglavian ships, the Nurgles. But they also might not come in here. What do we reckon? They're not within one, so we're still good for now. And they've moved on as well. Good. People being nice this evening. And so even this wave, not too bad. This was a quite an easy Triglavian one. I sometimes dropped a sort of 30-ish percent shield in this room. And so far, as I've said, these sites take about 10 minutes. And so far, um, you get at the end from the boss, you get some like Union Day tokens or something, which you can just trade in at a station for a hundred thousand a pop. Um, and so far, I've been averaging about 18 or 19 million per site for one of those, um, for those things, right? So that's 
18 or 19 million in 10 minutes, which is pretty good. Um, but also, I'm just going to turn that off for cap. Um, but there's also the chance that skins will drop and um, cerebral day, uh, cerebral accelerators. Sorry, um, which currently at the moment have no value, but they are quite valuable. So I had a potent drop, and uh, from other events, potents probably run like 30 to 50 million. So just let the cap regen, and I've let the shield regen. So I'm going to go in. This you want you do want to be sensible with having your shield ready in this room because you have a big wave of Glente Federation Navy ships. In, see, so we, and we want to take out the catalysts first, of which there are three this time. That's a lot. <coughs> take them out, and then uh, when we go through it. They die quite quickly though. Um, the boss spawns after this wave, but so far in my experience he spawns when you've got when there is one chip left on grid. So what I have been doing is making sure I have enough shield by clearing everything except the last two Morlesses. That's been my approach so far and it hasn't let me down yet. So clear them all down take out everything so other than the ca after the catalysts I then don't have a preference in the order I do things except I leave the Morlesses to last because they have the lowest damage see the shield is taking a battering but once we get to about here it's not going down and so once we take out one more Morlesse shield regens a little bit and as long as we don't like take too long so I'm just going to reload which takes five seconds make sure my shield is up over 30% and then if it is over 30% shoot up one more Morlus and he'll spawn immediately boss, there you go, there's the boss so shoot the last Morlus, lock up the boss, start flying towards it and then start shooting the boss um, if you're worried about the DPS and the, uh, the incoming DPS and your tank you can obviously heat, heat your weapon systems um, he does uh, scram, newt, and web, so you can't leave. Um, and so, yeah, if you're worried about your tank now, you can heat. I'm pretty sure my shield isn't going to break because we're doing some good DPS. But if, yeah, as I say, if you are worried about it, heat. There's no point in sticking around and dying when you could have heated your weapon systems. Um, and then that's that's it. That's the site. Nice and easy. Job done. Let's have a quick look. The boss will always be doing thermal and kinetic. So if you are suffering in the final on the boss wave, then change your tank to be focused on thermal and kinetic. Um, I go Omni tank because of all the other waves, but this boss wave, thermal and kinetic. So if you're struggling, uh, change up for that. We should see the the loot in a second. Let's see what we got today. Oh nice so 19.6 so another 20 million in the tokens and then we've also got a few boosters so that's a fairly worthless but is fine basic union day cerebral accelerator currently has no price but probably around 10 million one day of plus fours which is lovely and we have range booster which also um, currently no value because it hasn't been around very long but 3% range for 2 hours is pretty good. And there we are, as I say, that's the site guys. Nice and easy. Don't forget to claim your rewards as you go through. And that's it, job done. So, and then carry on, move on, find the next one. And keep doing that. Uh, cool, so thanks a lot for watching guys. Um, I hope you found it useful. Uh, if you did, um, I produce videos early on in every event that comes up, so if you find it useful and want to um, be aware of what happens in the future, then subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and I will, without fail, upload a video in the first day or two of an event to help you guys out. And I do try and keep them relatively cheap. Um, I may do an Assault Frigate one after this, but for now, I'm just going to run out my cormorant. The whole thing costs less than 30 million. Um, bear in mind, I've got 20 million in loot here. Alrighty.
Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one. Cheers.